there, crafty friends, and happy Tuesday. It's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and it is time for our What's New. So over the weekend, we got in some great orders. One that was a huge order was our Sizzix order. So I've got lots of fun stuff to show you for Sizzix. Then I've got some fun classic and new Halloween because it's finally October, friends. So October means that it is finally fall. Even though it's warm here in Indiana, it doesn't quite feel like fall, but it does look like fall. The leaves are all starting to turn. My yard, I have huge trees, so my yard is full of leaves. I got my fall decorations out of the attic, starting to put those up, which also means that it's time to be thinking Halloween, your Halloween cards, and also all your fun little treat containers, things like that. Um, so, I've, like I said, I've got new Sizzix. I've got some Halloween that just came in and some classic Halloween. So I pulled some things off the shelf that were from last year. Some of those stay tuned. I'm going to do it a little discount as well, actually a big discount. So we're going to do some edits of discount as well. Um, we've got in a few other small little reorders here as well. And, and as you are watching today, so Saturday was our fifth Saturday. We had all kinds of fun sales and deals and things like that in the store. Thank you to everyone that came out for our fifth Saturday. But I do have a few of our gift with purchases left. So today in the live, I'm going to do the same that I did for everyone on Saturday. If you spend over 70 in the live today, you will get a full set of alphabets. Um, they're all uppercase, but there's alphabets, letters, and numbers. Be careful, double chin there. Careful how I put my head. But anyway, um, you're going to get one of these, and that is over a $6 value. So you'll get one of those free if you spend over 70 in today's live, including the sale items I'm going to be showing you as well. So lots of great stuff coming up. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around. And we are going to start with is we're gonna start with an idea book. And while I'm, before I do that, I can already tell I'm going to need to grab my water. So bear with me here, friends. All right, this is a fun little mini book using the Boho Christmas line from Simple Stories. Before I show you the book, I wanna show you everything you get with it. So it comes with a six by eight snap binder. Then you're gonna get half a pack of the six by eight boho Christmas paper pad. You're gonna get some photo flips. You'll actually get, you'll get a quarter of a pack, which means you're gonna get one four by six, one three by four, and one four by four. You're gonna get a pack of boho buttons, a whole pack of bits and pieces, a collection kit for the line. It's got that great sticker sheet in there. And then you're also gonna get some solids as well. All right, so that's everything that you're going to get in the kit. And let's start with the kit. Some things in the kits you add yourself, like ribbon. Just grab some ribbon that you've got in your stash or burlap, twine, whatever. But you're going to decorate the cover. Decorate the little inside. That's so stinking cute. And then you've got all these great pages in there. So you can do this as a countdown. You can do it as just all your Christmas memories for this year. Great little tag book here. So this will untie, and you've got this fun little book that pops out here. Lots of great places for lots and lots of pictures. Now, one thing I did not add into the price. We used a six by eight stencil on this one page. So if you would like that six by eight stencil, I can definitely add it in to the price and get that to you. That is the only thing I did not put into the kit cost because I thought, well, one, you could use stencils that you've got at home or two, you could just skip this step altogether. We used um, just like a texture paste or modeling paste, but you could also use inks as well on here too. So if you're wanting to create exactly how we did, we did use this tree stencil and I can add that into the price. So you got fun little dividers here. But is this not just an adorable little mini book? So, so fun. Again, lots of great places for pictures. 
flipping through it here. Here's one of those photo flips. That's how those work. More great pages. You can either tuck or glue on top or around. Cute little tags. A little snowman. So as you can see, super cute little mini book here. There's another one of those little photo flips. One there. And that other photo flip there as well. And I think that, yep, that brings us to the end of the book. So this is our Boho Christmas mini album. Kit price is going to be $63.99. Um, I think you get almost, oh, it's almost $60 in um, maybe like $59 dollars worth of actual retail product um, so again great great value we are barely adding anything for the instructions you will get a download for written instructions with color step by step as well so that is our boho christmas um, mini album book six by eight it is 63.99 so i've got those and they're not online yet I just priced it out right before I jumped on here. But again, I pulled everything that you would get in there. So this is such a fun, fun kit. What a fun little mini album. So let me know if you would like one of those. And then we're going to move on down the road here. All right, back in stock. We were completely out of our eighth inch double-sided adhesive. So we got in more of our scrappy tape in um, eighth of an inch. Storage envelopes. Now, these storage envelopes are the ones that are the same size as our magnetic sheets. Sadly, magnetic sheets were out of stock in this order, but I did get more of the storage envelopes in. And the next time when I order, I will get more of the magnetic sheets, but those are back in stock. Beacon 3-in-1. Back in stock. That's just a really good, um, strong, thicker adhesive. Think almost like... Um, Hot glue without the heat. So it's nice and thick like how hot glue is. Our Copic Colorless Blender in the large size bottles is back in stock. I know we had our textures class not too long ago and we completely sold out of everything we had in stock and I needed to order more. So our Colorless Blender bottles are back in stock. Got that for you guys. I'm gonna walk around here. And we're going to start our Sizzix order. Lots of fun stuff in Sizzix. There are a few things that are special order, um, but I wanted to show them to you anyway. Our stencil and stamp tool. We restocked those. These are great. Um, you know, I, I do, I don't have a Misty. I carry Misty's here in the store. I have one of the Tim Holtz stamp platforms. That's what I, what I had um, whenever they came out, and I do love them. The one drawback I find with Misty and my stamp platform is they're just not big enough for my slim lines. So this guy here, if you don't have a stamp platform or if you've just found that you have a lot of pink fresh, those real long stamps, and you're having a hard time adapting your Misty and your stamp platform to use them, and then what happens is you do not use them check out the stencil and stamp tool. So it is nice and big. It has a completely different kind of hinge system. So I, it does not conflict with any kind of trademarks because it has been out on the market for a little while. And we know that if it did, that would have already been flagged. Let me pop this little guy open here. But it's a really cool concept. Miss Sarah wants a Copic blender. You've got it, Miss Sarah. That'll start you off on your pile if you're working towards getting that free alphabet today. All right, so what we've got in here, do, 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 grab this down here. All right, so this is your basic just stamp tool. But look how great and long and big this stamping hinged area is. So it's going to be perfect perfect for all those slim line stamps that you've got. You can also, what's kind of cool too, is you could also do like different quadrants. 
you know, different, you know, line it up in different areas and you could almost make this like a work platform area. It also comes with some sticky grids. So you stick this on here, peel off both sides, and now you've got a real nice tacky surface to work on as well. And then what this little guy here is, this snaps in place. Sizzix has stencils, and I got one in here. I'll show you this. And their stencils, here, open it up. I thought maybe I could show you on the back. Their stencils actually pop right in here. So that way it'll hold it in place for you. There's a workaround though, but I do want to show you this. So see how they've got these little dots on here. So what you do, let me show you all this all these bells and whistles friends okay so then depending where you want to actually do your blending okay you can pop this on up here and then these little guys oops sorry wrong way pop it here and this sticks into there like that or you can just go right to the top and work from the top so theirs is meant to hold in place their stencils okay friends let's be honest most of us are going to use other people's stencils as well so with that said that's why one they're sticky grid and two they make these little adapters so some of your stencils you use a lot you've got just these little bitty plastic adapters that you're going to attach to them and then they will convert like I don't know what to do first, if I want to open it first or show you first. They will convert all of your stencils, see, right here. So this is a little double stick. That way you can put it there, attach it to your stencil, and now it holds your stencil perfectly into place. So this is just a really, really fun tool. And again, if you are in love with your Misty, you're in love with your stamp platform, and you're like, nope, I don't need another one, then you totally are good. But if you are doing a lot of slimline stuff, if you've got a lot of the pink fresh, the nice long stamps that don't fit into your Misty, they don't fit into the Tim Holtz, and you just find you're not really using them as much because it's harder to, to stamp with, and it's harder to get a good impression, then I would definitely check this little guy here out and consider adding it to your tools that you have. And again, it's going to be a little more multi-purpose too, because not only will it do your your stamp platform, you know, for your bigger, and of course your little ones as well too, but it's also got that little sticky grid on the bottom so it'll hold your stencils in place as well. So there's that. Then we got more of our sticky grid sheets. And then we also got more, as you saw, of the little universal stencil converters. So those we got in stock now. Next up, trying to make my piles a little neater. Okay, next up we got in more mat board. This will run through your big shots. So we got in mat board sheets. Big shot switch pads. So if you've got a big shot switch and your pads are starting, now I have noticed mine hold up pretty good, but if your pads are starting to get a little old or you just wanna have an extra set on file, are on file, <laughs> on file, like that's what I tell them with, with your credit cards and stuff um, in, in my files. If you want to have an extra one in your stash, there we go. We got extra cutting pads for your switches in. We also got in more chrome precision base plates. This is an add-on for your regular Big Shot. This is what I use in hours. Um, I take out my bottom clear cutting pad and this replaces it so i actually cut down into this nice hard metal surface it is great it makes my pads last longer because i'm not cutting into a pad it makes my intricate dies cut so much nicer because it's kind of like having a built-in metal shim super super great so you got more of those in stock cutting pads we got in gold glitter we got in purple glitter so more little just fun cutting pads there and like I said we got in this layered stencil this one is actually a special order 
but this one, I'm looking for its package because I took it out and I don't know where it's the package. This one is called, what is it called? Oh, Winter Scene. You see, it has one, two, three, four different stencils to create this beautiful winter scene. We also got in small, regular little sticky grid sheets. These are great to also put on your bottom platform in your big shot. That way you can hold your dies in place and your paper in place. Next up from Sizzix, we got in, this is one of the Tim Holtz. This one is called Forest Shadows. It's also a special order, but I still wanted to show it to you. So Forest Shadows. This one here is an embossing folder. This one is called Snowfall Specs. Super fun. Another Tim Holtz one. This is called Fall Foliage. Another Tim Holtz embossing folder. This one is called Sparkle. And I believe this one is a special order as well. But still showing it to you. Oh, this guy is super, super cute. This is one of the brand new ones in Tim's Colorize line. You can see he's got the cutest little alphabet in there as well. And that way you can use it as a little banner if you want. This one is called Santa Greetings. Is he not adorable? So, so cute. Now, one thing I want to show you, I don't know if you guys realize this, with the colorized dies, I know sometimes they look very intimidating. But when you are working with them, packages within packages, First off, it's great <laughs> that they actually label what set it goes to. How many times have we lost a die and found it later? We were like, what set did this go to? And you can see this is red three. So it actually on the back of these tells you what colors to cut out. See, here's red one. And there's going to be a red two and a red three. So I love, love, love that, that it helps you know what colors. So like your darker red, then your medium red, and your lighter red. So one, two, three. So that will help you as you are cutting to get that great colorized look. If you're cutting it all out of white, once you're done cutting it out, then this is the, the one that you're going to shade with red number, your darker red, and you'll shade this with a lighter red. But I didn't know if you guys knew that on the back of your colorized dies. So that is a new one for us. Next up, another thing we got in, Tim Holtz's snowflakes. These are called Paper Snowflakes Mini. You've got 14 different dies in there. There's that one. I'm going to set this little guy to the side so I don't lose him. All right. More Sizzix. Yay. We got back in stock all of these amazing opulent cardstock packs. Remember, these are in a, a huge, huge value for you. You've got 50 sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper in here. Okay. You're going to get. 10 of each of these. So glitter, matte, brushed, pearl, and mirror. This set here is $23.29. It's an amazing deal on that. It's not even 50 cents a sheet, which is crazy. So we've got gold, glitter, ivory, charcoal, I, oh, I want to put charcoal next to silver, just so you can tell there, there is a difference. There's a good difference. And then also one of our most popular ones, this one is a little bit more. This is the Mystical. Mystical is $25.29. But again, you're getting 50 sheets. 
you're getting this beautiful ombre. Then you're getting a holog holographic glitter. You're getting an iridescent glitter. Um, just regular holographic and a holographic mirror. Are those not cool? So we got those back in stock. All right, and then I've got a few new things on the other side of the table. We'll jump over to those in just a minute. But I did want to pull out just some classic Halloween that we've been getting in. First off, our little punch outs. I grabbed these. They're not Halloween, but they do have super cute pumpkins on them. So this is the Purple Passion 3D Punch Outs. Debbie wants charcoal glitter. You got it, Miss Debbie. Thank you, ma'am. And then as you are starting to make your little treat bags, things like that, don't forget we've got the fun little, this one is the Spellbound Shakers. How cute are these? If you do fun little kids crafts, like if you do headbands, buttons, and again, the, we can turn these into those little croc charms. What, what are those called? Um, I don't remember, Emily told me, but the little buttons you stick in your croc shoes that all the kids love. How fun are these? Um, if you work in an office where you have to wear a badge um, and your badge sticks to kind of one of those little round circulars, this is super cute. You can decorate your little badge for Halloween as well. These are Thrills and Chills flatbacks. Then some of our dies that we got in about a month ago when probably a lot of us were not thinking too much about fall, Halloween, because we were still in into summer mode. This one here is a nice large phrase and shadow that says trick or treat. Here's our super cute August set. So again, this was from August. I was not thinking Halloween two months ago, but a super cute little red rubber stamp set. So you can see those are nice, nice size stamps in there. And there's all the ones you get in that set. So that's our August stamp set. Here's another one that says Happy Halloween. That's our inlay large phrase die. This one here is going to do your whole card at one time. It's an A2 cover plate haunted house. That one's super cute. This one I didn't mean to grab, but it's still a good one. This is uh, more, yeah, as we get into November, you'll probably see this one again. This is, it says, thankful, grateful, blessed. Here is a fun little gnome guy here. This one is called Bat Gnome. 829 for this stamp set. You got it, Miss Sarah. Pulling that for you now. So Bat Gnome. This one here is a cute little Happy Halloween. I'm going to flip it over so you can see the size on that one. That die is 13. Cute little cursive font on there. These are some fun little Tim Holtz ones. They are actually considered part of the Halloween line that he does. And they're called Mischievous. I just think they're cute cats, but I do get, you know, you can do them black and on some fun little cards, but Mischievous there. These here are some great tailored expressions, but I use them for a sample. So they are demo stamps, so they are on sale for $15.99. This one here is called Flip the Web. I'll flip it over so you can see. That bottom little corner is the only one that I use. You've got a Your Spectacular, Happy Haunting, and Happy Halloween. And another little border in there. This one here is called Hand Lettered Halloween. And you've got four great little sentiments there. This one here, I, again, I use it as a demo, so it's $12.99. And I only use the Boo to You and the Two Little Spiders. This was a newer Tailored Expressions that we just got in called Spooky Season. Cursive Happy Halloween, duh. You've got it, Miss Debbie. Thank you. So Spooky Season. I love that little bat. How fun is that? And then we've got words like Happy Fright Night, Spooky Season, Boo to You, Gone, Batty. These here are classic ones from Pink and Main, but still so super cute. This one here is called um, Too Cute. Uh, no, hold on. Pink and Main and Too Cute Ink. Oh, so it's called Cute Ghosts. Here we go. I can figure out what it's called. So Cute Ghosts. 
They have a stamp and a die. This is only a $9 set and another $9. There are those. These adorable little bats, so these would even be fun with that Tailored Expressions um, spooky season. These cute little bats here. This set here is called Batty for You. Batty for You also has a die. And then I've got some sale ones. All right. So this one here is really, really fun. It is, it's a two-part die. So the first one um, is like your starter. So that's what you need for it. And it does this really cute little ribbon rosette. Normally it's $17.39 and we're going to do it at 35% off in today's live. So you've got this really cute little rosette. And then you can add on the Halloween stuff. So to that, then you can add on Happy Halloween, Brew Crew, Spooky, Trick or Treat. You've got all these great little multi-purpose little dies in there as well. So again, this one here will be 35% off, and it was $22.39 for that one. Here's your starter, and then your add-on, so those would be 35% off. Here's some Graphic 45 we've got left from last year. 35% off, so snag this if you still have that charm collection and you've been kind of hoarding it. Or look at the colors, friends. We all know that you will be able to find tons of paper that will match these, but we need a little room over there. And I, I don't think I have any of this paper left at all. So we are going to move these guys out. I've got one, two, three, four of those. 35% off. And again, it's called Chipboard Charm, the Graphic 45 Charm Collection Chipboard, however you want to type it in there. Next up, this is one from last year from the Hocus Pocus Cartabella line. You've got all these fun little bits and pieces in here, though. So these would make good tags, great cards. The colors are really, really good in this line, so they're going to match lots of Halloween paper you've already got at home. Um, these were $5.29, and they are going to be 35% off. I've got one, two, three of those. And again, those are called Hocus Pocus Ephemera. Three of those. That'll be 35. This little guy here was one from last year as well that I did use as a demo. This one is, I believe, let me check here. Make sure I give you the right. Yep, this one here is 55% off, so a little bit more than half price. You can see I did use this one here. Um, and I use Catherine Pooler black ink, so it does stain. Um, these are going to stamp just fine. They just don't look as beautiful. Um, but again, a stamp that's been used is very conditioned, which means it's going to stamp better for you. And this one's called Halloween Hijinx. Um, it was $15.29. It's going to be 55% off of that. So you're looking at like around 7 bucks for this super fun little stamp set. Got one of those. And this little guy here, same thing. This was one that I had used for a sample. He is also going to be 55% off. And I use my Catherine Pooler inks on him. So he just looks pretty dark. But... It still works wonderfully, and it makes all these great, super cute little mini tags. They're so fun. You stamp this all at once. There's a little backing for it. You've got some little extra ones that come with it. I always fall for you. So thankful for you. Pumpkin kisses, heart, and harvest wishes. Cutest pumpkin in the patch, and a little to and from there. That is called the Thankful For You stamps, 55% off on those. Some more classic stuff. So these are not on, on your 35, um, but we've got, let's see, we've got two Halloween ephemeras gone. Perfect. So I've got one more of these left at 35% off. So thank you, ladies, for snagging those up. All right. So this is Lawn Fawns. Super cute. They did the little bats last year. So this is Fantastic Friends add-on. It also has a die. Here is regular Fantastic Friends. 
They're so, so cute. And they have dies that match as well. We've also got one of the little, this was an add-on stamp for Perfectly Wicked. So Perfectly Wicked add-on. Got the cute little cats in there. Perfect, no tricks, just treats. There are dies that match. <coughs> this is also one from, was this last year or this year? Yep, I think it was last year's line. This is called Simply Fall Sentiments. We got some cute little sentiments in here. Happy Halloween. Hope you have a spectacular day. Boo, wishing you a very sweet day. So grateful for you. When things get a little nutty, you are the apple of my eye and thanks. So fun little set there. And we keep adding on to this little cart that Honeybee did. So it's this great little cart you start with. I don't have a picture of it, but you can see. Cute little cart here. Um, this can actually be dressed up for fall just the way it is. But then they have this super, super fun pumpkin spice market cart add-on. So this turns it into a fall cart or a Halloween cart. So as you see, you've got all kinds of great little dies as your add-on. You've got spooky spiders, you've got this little cat, you've got cauldrons, you've got gourds, pumpkins, leaves, you've got um, the fun little plaques that you can add on there. So you've got the little plaque right here and one, two, three different add-ons for it. So those will say pumpkin shop, witch's brew, and coffee. There's that fun little banner right there. You've got little cocoa mugs. Here's kind of a little dressed up sample of it. I know there's a couple of um, samples that I showed a while back where it just makes it totally, you know, completely fall. There were no spooky things on there. And they did it in beautiful um, corals and teals with the pumpkins. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. So we've got those, so pumpkin spice market cart add-on. So if you've got the beginner cart, this is a great add-on, or maybe you just wanna jump in and get both. So there's that, super fun. And then let's see, ooh, here we go. I was looking for this one. And we've got a few more things. Whew, all right. So we got in some three-quarter designs paper. I ordered this, oh my gosh, back in May, and it finally came in stock and shipped. This is called Botanical Brights. I'm going to open this little pack up here and show you everything we've got in here. Because I honestly don't even remember it. Sorry, we're getting real close there. Okay, so three-quarter designs, botanical brights, bonus paper on the back. We've got all these fun little small for adding layers, doing mats, and doing cutouts. Here's some fun little fussy cut pages more fussy cut pages, more fussy cut, and then look at these papers, so pretty. I don't think they're front and back, nope. Is that beautiful? So pretty. And notice at the bottom, they've all got these great little sayings on your, two, your UPC strip. You're only here for a short visit. Don't hurry, don't worry, and be sure to smell the flowers along the way. She sprouted love like flowers, grew a garden in her mind, and even on the darkest days from her smile, the sun still shined. Oh, how pretty. This is a little laser cut page. Laser cut page. Gosh, it keeps going. And 
another page, and then a little inspiration sheet there for you. So that is the Botanical Brights collection kit. I've got two of those. Then I also got in some of the card kits too. Let's check out what's in these card kits. Okay, so there's our little starter pack there, our little starter sheet. Laser cuts, laser cuts. So these you would cut apart for your card backs. Card backs, I love that, that's so pretty. Oh, look at these great little cut apart pages here with all the little verbiage that you can use. There's cards in here as well. Love those. No envelopes, though. Okay, so you will supply your own envelopes. And there are some little inspiration cards on the back as well that you can use as a little jumping point. So that's our Botanical Brights card kits. So just got those in. What else is in my little baskets of goods? We got in some stamps. Um, this is from the line Fairy Hugs, and the stamp is called You Are. Um, it says, You are the friend everyone wishes they had. I love that. Some Lisa Horton embossing folders. This is Swirling Leaves. How beautiful will that be for your fall cards? Swirling Leaves. And then we got in some fun little shakers. Look at all these fun colors we just got in. So I just ordered a big sample pack from the company. So that's, I've got ones of each. This one here is called Deep Blue. Lavender. Grapefruit. And I'm looking to see if they are... They've got a very flat side, so they would work probably best in your shakers, but I think you can also, yeah, you could glue them down too. They are flat back. Um, red, Debbie wants the friend stamp. You've got it. Pink. That one's really pretty. Oh, purple. No wonder. It's purple. No wonder I like it. Honey. Light green. Look how, I mean, these guys are full, too. They do come in a fun little package. It's got a nice little, um, like, zipper, not zipper, but, uh, like, a little sandwich bag seal at the top. Blue. Green. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Somebody snagged that one. That one's called Cola. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, this one will be good, too. Um, this is SFT, maybe Soft Diamond. That one's pretty. That one there is called Nebula. Rose. Light blue. Ruby. Amber green. Yellow. And sky blue. Purple and cola for, yeah, my two favorite ones. Those are beautiful. Pick those up. I didn't even have to look at what the colors were, but I did anyway. And a red for Miss Jennifer. You've got to remember one each on these. So cola is gone, purple is gone, and red is gone. All right, and friends, that is it. We went through one, two, three, four, five tables today. So if you're just jumping on late, um, we started off with a super cute new mini album that Sean did for the store. Um, that uses the Boho Christmas line from Simple Stories. Then we checked out our new Sizzix order. I did in that Sizzix order, I forgot to tell you, I did get in a Big Shot and a Sizzix Switch. So if you've got those on your Christmas list or just your want list now, I've got those back in stock. Then we looked at a few great stamps and dies. 
and some sale goodies all kind of in that Halloween theme since we are officially in October. So some of these were brand new and some of these were classic ones from last year that are still stinking cute. Um, but it's been a while since we looked at Halloween and usually I only do the new stuff in the live. So some really, really great, great new stuff that maybe you didn't remember from last year or you didn't pick it up last year. And then a few little guys on sale as well too. So be sure and check out the live if you jumped on late. But otherwise, my friends, I am Hannah at the Doodlebug. Thank you so much for jumping in and tuning in with or jumping on and tuning in with me today. Tomorrow, what I've got for you is Spellbinders, a great Spellbinders order. We are pricing it right now, so it will be ready to show you guys tomorrow. Um, it's already live on the website. I know some of you like to kind of stock that new section to um, get kind of a jump on what some of the new stuff is. So we'll have Spellbinders for you guys tomorrow. Um, we've got a couple great orders from the distributor that came in as well today. So for the warehouse, so lots of new stuff in there, some reorders as well. And orders I just placed. So I um, I had a request for some Lisa Horton inks. So that order has been placed and should be coming soon. Glass mats should be here any day now. Got tracking on those. I also ordered um, yesterday more scrap and easels. And what is a scrap and easel? I've been having some people ask. Let me, let me just flip you guys around. Sometimes that's just easier. Um, so this is a scrap and easel. I keep one. This is mine. So it never, ever makes it home. My poor little magnet. Let me move him over. There we go. Anyway, what is a scrap and easel? So it is like, a, it truly is a little easel and it's magnetic. That way, as you work, you can keep your project tilted up. And what this does, you know, as we sit and we craft, our head bends, and, and you know, that's my voice is changing because I'm bending my head down as I'm doing this. Your head bends all the way down. And if you are doing a crafting session, well, that creates neck fatigue and it's not good for your posture. So this brings your work surface up, but at a slight angle. So you got a little angle there. So that makes it much easier to work with now. What's really cool is you can also just flip it like this and then it tilts it down even a little bit more. So these are, if you do a pickup, they are 80. If you do it online, they're 90 because they're super heavy to, sh um, to ship because it is magnetic. These are full magnetic boards. You do get magnets with them as well. Um, for those of you that already have them, I did order more magnets. Those, those will be on the order as well. So if you've lost some of your magnets, um, we can restock those for you. So scrap and easels got ordered this weekend. So those will be coming and they should be here just in time for the retreat, which will be great because I know a lot of the girls see people using them at the retreats and then they want one as well too. So scrap and easels got ordered. And there was something else. Oh, Elizabeth Crafts should be here in any day. So I did get um, Elizabeth Crafts. We've got Annette's dies. We've got the new Christmas and fall dies coming. And we have Annette Green's December daily class kits coming as well. So that's another great order that should be here any day now too. So alrighty friends. Well, again, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little while. Hopefully you saw a few things that maybe, you know, kind of on the back burner that you want, or maybe you just wanted it and you stuck it in the comments. I appreciate that so much as well. So until tomorrow, you guys have a great evening. Take care and um, bye now. See ya.